Parental discretion is advised. What's up, guys? This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we talk about the virtues of the return of gold dust. We get into the awesomeness that is $5 wrestling, and we discuss how Santina Morella can warm the cockles of your heart. All that and much, much more. Stick around. This edition of Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by... Fleshlights. Head on over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Look for that banner and click on it. You'll know which one. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, the mayhemiest of them all. It's episode 386. Mike Sorg, Sorgatron here in the studios in Pittsburgh, PA, PA the Mayhem yeah. Studios. Let's get right There's into the no wrestling. Hey. Holy crap, P. Hey, hey, hey. Also from the P. Hey is Mr. Uh, Papa of the LB, DJ Lunchbox on Twitter. Sir, assemble the Mayhemmer. What's up, hot dogs? <laughs> I'm assembling the Lunchbox Avengers. We're better than the West Coast Avengers, but not as good as the movie Avengers. It's going to be sweet. Let's fucking talk about wrestling. Yes! Also with us from San Antonio, Texas, where he's experimenting with drugs, sex, and bonbons. It's Eamon at Eamon 2, please, on the internet. What? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tell everybody about your bonbon affliction. No, this is just what I see in uh, movies when sex happens. Oh, the shush sign? Uh, is, 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 this, is, this how, is this how sex happens? Is this how it works? Uh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yes? Yep. yep. I stick more right with the bonbon. Eamon is like Walter White in season two of Breaking Bad. He's not all the way in, but man, he's on the road. Mm. I'm, I'm going to take that as a compliment as someone that doesn't watch Breaking Bad. Oh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and also, what happens now? Now we have Wheels joining us from... God, I don't even know where you live. I'm from California, That's right. Pennsylvania. I know you're in the general area. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, folks, I am from a town that is a state. <laughs> in a state that is not a town. It is a college. California, Pennsylvania. Jim Lokay's from there. Um, or what school there, I believe. Nope. No? Yes, he did. Yes. Hey, he went, he went to school there. Friend, friend of the show, Jim Lokay. Um, well, friend of the awesome cast. He's, ah, he's a friend of ours. Um, he's a yeah. friend of everybody's. This is Wrestling Mayhem Show. We like, uh, we're like we fans. We like, like this stuff. We like to step back and just take in the wrestling and talk about it and talk about the thing we love. And as we do here on the podcast network, that is Sorgatron Media. You can find out more about this show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube. I watched this show earlier on my Chromecast on my TV through YouTube. That was kind of fun. Um, but video, audio versions, however you want to consume the mayhem, and you can drop us a line. Hey, I got the shirt. That's it. Good times. It's good, good times. times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com 412-206-WMS0. We'll talk to you about a little bit later about how you can get a shirt sweet as this and then some. Um, so let's get right into it. The only way we know how... That would be the fan mails. Uh, so, uh, do we have any mails of the fans to read today, Eamon? We do, Sorgatron. <laughs> this first one. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. This one's from. This uh, is did amazing. you want to take this one, Sorg? Or am, am I allowed to take it? I don't care. Do from, it. From our friend Dustin. Dustin. Said, Hi, Dustin. 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 He said, Hello, fellow Mayhemians. Uh, uh -huh. I bring greetings from East Texas this week as I'm in Houston at the moment. I passed through Amon City yesterday and will make the trip back tomorrow. Why does this matter? Because it has me wishing for a different home coming in the wrestling world. If I was able to find the one star in this town that wasn't an airplane, I would wish for Jeff Jarrett to return to TNA. Hmm. And if he's if he's saying if he's referring to Houston, like there's wrestling there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you guys, you guys need to connect then and and let him know I, I, under what rock I, I mean, that wrestling. I made me to send Dustin some beats. There you go. As the, as the kids say, he's got your hookup. Uh, 
I got your well, wrestling hookup. Here. What you want? You want luchadors? You want ladies fighting men? You want transgendered gendered fighting men? You want to get <laughs> a transgendered dude to sit on your lap while you're watching uh, two guys bear hug? We got all that. Sir, do Lodges? we have that in Pittsburgh? Like, we don't have any of that in Pittsburgh. God damn it! Guys, fuck no. this city. <laughs> Pittsburgh now is probably with the transgenders. Apparently, I'm, I'm fucking starting a Kickstarter. We're gonna make that happen. Yes, Howard. I love this. Put it together. Do it. Do it. Let's bring transgendered <laughs> wrestling to Pittsburgh. Were you about to say transgendered men lunchbox? Yes, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah. the city's already pretty friendly to that. Um, uh, listen, they've got to start on one end or the other. <laughs> Transgendered no women here. Oh my god. Move on. There's more email, please. Oh, we're gonna get so much hate. Questions for this week. <laughs> I Angle love being... transgendered people. <laughs> Good to know. With Kurt Angle being released I from Reno. Encourage them in their plight. <laughs> speaking of speaking of transgenders, with Kurt Angle being released from rehab, do you feel that he can still be beneficial for TNA, or should they have let him go? Can I can I put nope. aside? Wait, wait, wait. Can I put aside anecdote? Because I talked with somebody. Uh, uh, we're we're um, we're potentially working with the web person, or we'll talk with the web person. This has nothing to do with this show. This is actually a work related thing that does the website for Kurt Angle. And apparently, she was giving the project like right after he went into rehab. <laughs> Nice. So, and, uh, I hope this wasn't in confidence. Um, that's like third party. So, <laughs> uh, so they, they was like, give me every picture of you in a suit that you can. And they were all like gangster mafia pinstripe suits. Yeah, with like, <laughs> let me guess, with weird fucking American flag sunglasses. Probably, probably. I was just, I was just like the greatest story uh, ever. Um, so, so that's that's what it's like to live in Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, I, literally, no. I literally, I literally, no. I literally trip over. For wrestling stories in my day-to-day job that has nothing to do with wrestling. That's what it's like to live in Pittsburgh. Yes. Yeah, so the answer to your question, Dustin, absolutely not. By the way, uh, can I say this is the same job where I ended up working with the guy that was the detective in one of Kurt Angle's on movies? Wrestling so. shows. Tripping over them! Next question. If TNA brought Jared back I didn't answer. in my pipe dream, would Spike allow for the release of Hogan? You know, I think Jericho, or Jared, um, uh, Jericho. Is, I don't think people get as excited for Jared coming back generally as like a Triple H situation. It feels like it should be a Triple H situation, right? Right? Nope. No, no, because Jared wasn't no. as good or popular as Triple H. No, no, I guess, I guess <laughs> not. Um... I, I, I don't think I don't know if there's any problem with Jarrett working neck and neck with Hogan. Like I never heard anything about that. Um, I don't know. It, it it didn't work when he was in charge before, so I don't think that's a reason to bring him back. Um, I don't think he's big enough a name to make a big wave more than the ex WWE guys they have all over the place. I don't right. think you get more viewers for Jeff Jarrett being on your screen than Hulk Hogan limping out there. Um, I, I mean, that's my take. I'll be. I guess you. I guess the only thing is you could probably do more because Hulk Hogan kind of limits yeah, you a bit. That's true, but I mean, it's. It, mm. I mean, sadly, it's not nope. what's in the ring that keeps people around like this. Right in, in this in this vein that we want people to keep around for them. Right, LB, you're trying to get some thing out. You there. can you can, listen. You can have Jeff Jarrett on the television and talking and doing stuff. You can have Hulk Hogan on the television talking on doing stuff. Uh, you can have <laughs> Kevin Nash, as I believe they've showed in the past. Impact will still do a one to a one point two. It yeah. doesn't matter who no. is in their main event in that batch of guys. Jarrett, like Hogan, has devalued himself to this point that yeah. he's on the same level as Jeff Jarrett when it comes to drawing. Yeah, yeah, I, he is. I, and he's the, he's, he's desaturated himself. He's. I mean, he popped up in a Cowboys promo uh, over the weekend. I mean, it, it's. Renaissance, he fucking does Renaissance promos. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Renaissance is the uh, thing you do. Who else is the one doing it? Is it Dan Marino that does it with him? Uh-huh. I mean, that's uh-huh. what you do yep. when your career is done. You know, uh, and I, I can still draw eighty thousand people to an arena because you can't anymore, bro. Um, I mean, when he, right. when they go and they fill uh, when they go and they half fill the IUP arena uh, for Hulk Hogan for a bunch of people that want to see Hulk Hogan, and that's it. And Sting. And Sting and Sting, um, mm-hmm. I mean Sting and Hogan were big on that poster. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I think. And you have that, and you have like the modern like Hardy, like Jeff Hardy draws, like yeah, 
but not even to that level. Like, it's yeah. not going to do anything. I mean, I think in, in all cases, none of this works. You can be the best band in the world, but if you don't know how to promote yourself, nobody's going to hear that you're the best band in the world. You know, exactly. when you get Hulk Hogan uh, behind the machine, that is like, like you know, how many people said the RVD, uh, where you been all these years? You know, glad you came back from wrestling, you know, um, versus, uh, I mean, Hogan was big, big and felt big in WWE, no matter if he steps foot in there for a cameo, right? I think Edge did this week, mm-hmm. too. Um, mm-hmm. And even WCW, while their marketing and merchandising was ridiculously stupid, they had enough uh, manpower money behind them to make things feel big enough, you know? Right. Um, and it worked. Um, a TNA has none of that, none of the experience, none of the none of the the, the machine for for marketing. Um, and it's it's you know it's pinning flyers to to phone poles. You know it's it's what are you gonna do? You know, back them. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna back <laughs> exactly. Them. Sorry, I, I hate that. to be so run down on impact, but I mean this this it feels like the reality of the situation. You know, I feel like Ring of Honor knows where they're at and are cool with that level, and they're growing the way they know how on this grassroots kind of thing. Um, and they have the right booster. And, and, and impact has a big platform with Spike TV. Um, but there is this je ne sais quoi that is missing from it, uh, <laughs> and. <laughs> Really? <laughs> French? <laughs> Sorry. Um, and French makes me giggle. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, fromage! Fromage! <laughs> uh, hey, man, move on. I'll say what else has got an opinion. We have one last question. This is actually a really fun one. Uh, who is the wrestler that you are the most embarrassed to admit to being a fan of at any point in time? Oh, where do I start? That's a good question. Coco Beware? <laughs> <laughs> well, people, I, I imagine you were supposed to be a fan of Coco Beware. Yeah, but have you seen Pile Driver? Yeah. Yes. I think I think anybody in the Pile Driver video <laughs> counts for this question. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and keep in mind, Hulk Hogan was all over that thing. Um, yes, he was. So, I don't know. Anybody else? I'm trying to think. That's a hard one, yeah. Wheels? Oh, I agree with you on the whole Power Driver album, the whole video with that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it kind of like 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 I didn't see Power Driver like back in the day, and I saw like more recently, and it was like, oh, I'm glad I didn't see that back in the day. You know, um, I I I think like like if you think '90s guys, you know, like I was really over with El Matador. Can we yes. say that? I mean. I knew it was Tito. Shockmaster. Shockmaster. You're the you're the shockmaster, Mark, huh? <laughs> yeah. LB, you got one yet? Um, I've got I've got two as a matter okay. of fact. I um in Re- this was like what he became, but I used to be a big Rey Mysterio fan until he fell apart. Just awful and terrible. And the other one was um I don't know if this is really something to be embarrassed about, but I fucking love Tajiri. Love Tajiri. Oh, yeah. dude, don't be embarrassed that about that. Great. No, I don't think it's anything to be embarrassed about, especially if you look at his ECW no. stuff. So they treated good. him like shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, because mainstream wrestling doesn't know how to treat Japanese people other than like, oh, you speak a different language. That means you're funny. It kind of. I don't think I can be embarrassed, La Parka. Like I was happy with the chairman mm-hmm. of WCW coming out all the time. You know? Psychosis. Ooh, I got one. Ooh, yeah. I got one. Um, fucking Sin Cara. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know? yeah. We wanted to like him. He came in and was like, oh, Mexican guy, this is going to be cool. Because didn't we kind of think this was going to be <laughs> Cause we're, WCW? Cause all, we're all no, in our head eternally racist. Because it felt like the WCW no, days no. when we had <laughs> Luchadors, right? I fucking saw yeah. him wrestle in like CMLL or whatever. I thought he was great. Uh, yeah. Downhill. Oh man, um, I, okay. I think that's just a matter of like the transition. To what about, what about you? Oh, from the chat room, guys. Oh, before we finish, from the chat room, uh, Super Callow is my homeboy. Bad bike. I'm with the Super Callow. Uh, Luchador wearing a hat and sunglasses. That's fucking amazing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm like, well, that's different. I'm cool with that. Uh, the only, the only one I can sort of think of, and people will probably give you shit for it, is I guess Rob Van Dam. 
Especially just how he's been now. Like, if I went to a wrestling fan and I said, oh, I'm a big Rob Van Dam fan, they would look at me weird because they know that he's sort of old. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find these answers, but most of it is pe- people running down Eamon right now. Yeah, that happens. Uh, <laughs> Leg Kick, uh, almost Leg, immediately. Leg Kick says, no. uh, maybe Ultimate no. Warrior you when I was a youngster. Be nice to wrestle fan. Mad Mike says, Mr. Kennedy. Uh, Chris Benoit from Mad Mike. Yeah. Uh, oh, Adam, yeah, FJ I think that's says, the I think that's the ultimate answer, Chris Benoit. Adam Bomb and Big Boss Man, he was parachute. Man, I was completely down. Don't you hate on the Big Boss uh, Man? Yeah, Big Boss Man was great. I even accepted Ray Trailer. You know, yeah, because I just because I knew he was Big Boss Man, they became. There's another boat, example. Boat. Wait, wait, wait! He was in, he's Big Bubba, and he's he's Ray Trailer, and he comes back as Big Boss Man, and they made him like badass again, right? Yeah, Boss Man's very underrated. Because they brought him back, he was actually like in a SWAT uniform, like it looks like precursor to Shield today, actually, if you think about it. Um, and it was like, oh wow, Big Boss now. Um. I think that was great. This this shows what they, WWE can do for people that WCW is like, meh, you know. So, sorry. I, I don't know. Um, the best thing about the Big Boss Man is, I from watching old stuff, watch the uh, the 92 Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where he's in there with Ric Flair, and yeah. he just randomly busts out a spin kick. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the greatest thing you'll ever see. Oh, yeah. I, I still well, I still. Speaking hold. of which. Yeah. Santino. Super embarrassing. But love it. <laughs> but we all yeah, love man. it. We all love that last night. Oh no. We all love great. that. Alright, we got another oh. one here. Dear Wrestling Mayhem Show. Oh, was that the last of it? I think it was. Yes. Oh okay. well, there was a little little last part. Right, Let me see. Touch, touch. Uh, he says Sorry, for man. me that award goes to the one and only Das Wonder Kid, Alex Wright. Oh Nice. That's my time. Very nice. That's my time, guys. Looking forward to the show as always. Regards, Dustin. I saw big things for Alex Wright. And then, then he was Berlin or whatever. Uh, Dear Wrestling Mayhem Show, this is from Miss Leg Kick TK. Who Jessica joined us last week. Very good show with her. I've had some epiphanies regarding WWE, and they are as follows. Number one, Big Show isn't upset because he doesn't like hitting people. It's that he, he's being told to, who to hit. They're, they are his punches, and no man has any right to tell tell him who we can or can't punch. Number this two... My, my fist is my body. My fist. Yeah. Wait, 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 were you talking to the chat that he was a... This is pro-choice big show? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the discussion went last night. Uh, number crap. two... I think I was, I think AJ credits that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, number two, I fully anticipate Daniel Bryan to beat Randy Orton handily at Night of Champions, only for Triple H... To order uh, the match restarted, I said they extended, or I thought maybe they'll Chris Jericho him or something. I think uh, this will go into fashion similar to the 1972 Olympic gold medal game between the U.S. and the USSR until Orton retains the title. Cue confetti raining from the rafters, or better yet, ring post pyro. But instead of explosions, it's those spring snakes like the fake cans of peanut butter. That's amazing! Wow, uh, Santi. Wow. Three, Santino defeating Antonio Cesaro with an oh. <laughs> Ipen Siao Nage judo throw uh, was rad, and now I want Santino uh, to still be a goofball, but a goofball with deadly judo skills just under the surface. I'm rating... Uh, I'm racing you, LB, in the in the, you're cursor, in the, in the cursor a race. battle in the dock. By the way, oh, the, now, I'm there with, now it's all green. Have, <laughs> oh no, think I can't read it. <laughs> Have him power walk, get the Cobra to fail terribly, and then he busts out the Uchimata. Oh, this is really hard in pink, dude. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I have fixed someone it. the failures of Google Doc um, <laughs> with a k- Kata Gatami and trombones around the ring. I sadly do not have any poems or verses this week. My most humblest of apologies. Take care, friends. Your pal, Leg Kick, TKO. Next up. Next Dibsies. up, we got an email from the Riz. Dibsies. LB. Wake Fuck up, LB. You, I'm awake. <laughs> You're a little too relaxed. But I'm comfortable. Is your, is, All right. is your neck okay? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Dynamis! Since my fine taste of fine breakfast caffeinated beverages made the Mayhem crew kick me off of their quote-unquote island, 
until I later return, of course. <laughs> I thought I... W- I thought I'd greet you with another one of my award-nominating emails. Yeah. Watched what possibly was the best eye pay per view in wrestling history on Sunday night. Where else do you get the immovable object versus the unstoppable string bean? Oh, I thought we were holding on Where to Where else? One. No, there's another one that we're holding on to. Oh, okay. This is Rizdefer. Okay. Where else would you find a manager who re- isn't really a manager because he just stands outside the ring volunteering his services to just about anyone? Where else? Can a manager, different manager, of course, be selected just by sitting in the goddamn crowd? Where else can you say hashtag fuck Gunner and get away with it? Besides this email. Oh, it's orange now. Five dollar wrestling, of course. Did I mention there's a guy whose name was Strongarm? Do you want to know why his name is Strongarm? It's white. Oh, that's gone. <laughs> white. Have you seen <laughs> Scary Movie too? <laughs> yup. Until next time. Five ever. Five ever. Five ever. Five ever. Five ever. Riz. P.S. Fuck Gunner. All right, I think that's all the emails we got uh, until the Indie Minute. But we do have several voicemails. Several is two. First one from our boy. He's going to introduce himself. It is AJ. Hey, good morning, children. Oh, I know this, this is going to play at, I don't know, 9 o'clock at night. It is currently quarter after 6 in the morning. I'm on the highway. It's your best friend, Bob fucking diggity. I know everybody's all swaggy WWE creative. I've seen rumblings on the Twitter. Not from the Mayhem show because we're fucking smarter than that. But I've seen rumblings on the Twitter that basically says, I don't really like this whole thing where Triple H and Randy Orton are on top and they keep beating this shit. I'm sick of beat down. Fuck you, hell bad, you dumb motherfuckers. I'm sorry that Sean Cena and his fucked up t shirts aren't saving the day like every two weeks. I'm sorry. No, fuck them. I want beat down. I want, I want it to be such an. You know what? I want, I want Dana Brown to lose without a champion. I want this shit to continue. I want it to build so hard. But when it really happens, then it is fucking amazing. Because, listen, this storyline is too good to blow that shit off in a month. It's way too good to blow it off in a month. You let it go. Let that shit marinate. You can't have a quick marinade on a steak. You gotta let that shit build for like two hours. Same thing. You gotta let it build. You gotta let those juices get in there. Processes, any juice or steroids involved. I'm simply stating a food analogy. Big Show crying is hilarious. Big Show crying is also sad because I don't like seeing a large man sad. That's yeah. not good for anybody. It's large sadness. This has been both fucking diggity. And you're fucking well listen. It takes a lot of effort. I gotta do dad shit. You know, Big Show puts on dad shit. Sometimes both of you guys put dad shit on dad shit. That's why I love the voice man. You get a big shit on the street because I have a large wiener. This is all I This person is stitchy mess. Good tasty. No woo. No woo. Um, so, so yeah, you know, when's the last time we had a slow burn, guys? You know, I mean, we... <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Really? When is the last time we had a slow burn storyline? You know, like never. Ah, not, not never, but long time, long, long time. It's been a while. It's been a while. I think the closest we had was uh, where the Jericho Michael stuff a few years ago. Uh, yeah, hmm. that's slow birdie. That's but that was while. still like four Get months. There's only like four months. Yeah, yeah. Like that's like a slow burn for them. Apparently. Do we call it a slow burn when we go rock like the whole rock Cena thing, which really lasted three years? Yeah, in the long Once run, in a lifetime, my ass. <laughs> exactly, AJ. But no, I want to say the AJ stuff. Thing. What's that? 
the AJ stuff with CM Punk and, and all that. That's and, true. That's true. Um, that but at the same time, that's sort of, they, they just take the character and just shift her to a different storyline, sort of. Yeah. So and I that, know that's, that's yeah, I, I, it's not two guys feuding for an extended period of time. Say Rock Punk was a slow burn. I, eh, kind of, because they kind of like called it like. What, after SummerSlam, they said whoever is the champion gets the rock at Royal Rumble, right? No, uh, Mania. After or, Mania. What? Oh, after was... the Mania where he beat Cena the first really? time. Really? Okay. Pu- no, because, yeah, because Rock had that promo. It's like, I'm challenging for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble when the Royal Rumble's like 10 months away. Yeah, that was kind of a long run there. Um, okay. Fuck that Samoan piece of shit. Whoa, where'd you go? <laughs> Whoa! He's so mad he disappeared! He combusted! Oh, there he is! Everywhere. Oh, I'm shit. all places at once. Wow. Uh, and we got another one from our friend in the mass media. Mainstream oh, boy, media. It's your, um, your mainstream media pal. Calling you from the car. Barreling down the Sawmill Run Boulevard here on a beautiful Tuesday morning. Or Definitely as I lovingly safe. refer to it as the Parkway South. Um, I guess this morning I programmed the WMS voicemail phone number into my contacts in my phone. So that's the thing that happened. I guess uh, I'm tired of looking <laughs> up on the uh, web page okay. every single time I try to call in. All right. uh, okay, we we'll go quickly. All right, Raw last night, big show. Here's a guy who is not sympathetic at all. He's back into a corner. He's put down. He sobs. He cries. Because he feels sorry for himself, but when his back's against the wall, and it's time to put up or shut up, do the right thing, do the wrong thing, he always does the wrong thing. He's a bad guy. He's a heel. He's just, I don't know, masquerading as a face, whatever. Uh, Gold Dust last night, very impressive, but uh, do not forget to give credit to Randy Orton. I know that's hard for some of you to do sometimes, to give Randy <laughs> his, uh, his due. Mostly Bobby. But, um, he had a lot to do with how good that match was. And I will end it with a question for you guys. Gold Dust, a lock for the WWE Hall of Fame. Am I right? I'll do that. And I will thank you very much and try to catch up with you guys in the chat room later. Goodbye. Is Dusty already in? He is, isn't he? I believe Dusty is already in, yes. I think, he is. He's, he was inducted by his kids. I think, Dust, yeah. I think Dustin has done enough for WWE um, that he should go in. I, I think Just don't tell that to Antonio Garza. I think if a Coco Beware goes in, and I know that's a lot of debate to that, um, I think I think Goldust goes in. Goes, Goldust is part of a was a big part of a uh, shift. I mean, he was kind of the first towards the Attitude Area, you know, kind of different what? look Attitude Era. Um, <laughs> Uh, kind of thing. I, I mean, he he was. He I like was getting a big, my attitude area. He he was a. Big, hey. But I, I, I mean, do you guys disagree? Was he not like that big of a contribution? I, I think he was great. I think I, the the point I try to make, and the people so sort of disagree with me on, is that the fact that he's been in the wrestling business for twenty some years, and the reason he's been in that company, or not in that company, in wrestling for so long, is that he's very much a company guy. He does his job, and he does his job well. So I think, you know, and, and he, the company guy to the point where someone said, hey, you're going to be this dude that really likes movies and also is sort of like a creepy like dude that's going to hit on Razor Ramon. And he yeah. took it and he went yeah. with it. <laughs> he didn't question it. This dude that really likes movies. <laughs> that was, that's what it called this was. He really liked movies. Um, but no, like that's, I think that's commendable. And people shit on Coco Beware being in the Hall of Fame. But the thing is, Coco was one of Vince's guys, but he was also pretty much a company guy. Yeah, I, I, you got to think about because like guys like that, you got to think even like in the eighties, there were these people that contributed so much to the WWF, but it's, they couldn't all be champions, you know. So you can't go by that, you know. I mean, you know, what were the Blackjacks for the time? You know, what were the Freebirds? What you know? I mean, I, I think right. I think everybody thinks they got to be uh, Ric Flair or Hulk Hogan in order to get in there. Um, I mean, look at Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper is in there, and deservedly so, but what belts has he held, you know? But still, that's the guy that made event at WrestleMania, that, that was uh, uh, integral in the rock and wrestling uh, connection, brought wrestling, you know, bridged the gap between, you know, arguably one of the first guys that that, that more successfully bridged uh, movies and wrestling, you know? Um, I, I, I think I, I think we need to look at what, what we're... 
I think it doesn't feel like it's Hall of Fame worthy to some of us because it was more recent and doesn't feel like a legendary moment. But I think in retrospect, it was. And it contrib- the point is contributing to the business. Exactly. It's not about if you were a big enough star or not. Yeah. It's not about that you, you were a guy that sold tickets or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, it is. I mean, this is a guy. Uh, I mean, uh, Booker T. Uh, uh, Booker T's done enough, you know. Obviously. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I think I think I think all of them are deservingly so. Uh, and if you look at their area, you know, not just gold dust. I mean, I think a Val Venus would fit in there. You know, I mm-hmm. think uh, in the long run, I you gotta I gotta hate this one. Um, I think your Xbox and your uh, uh, Billy Guns and your Road Dogs should be in there. Um, you know, make you in there five years or so. But I mean, those are guys. No, they are in there. They're in there as DX. <sighs> no, I don't think DX has been inducted yet. No, DX hasn't been inducted. I don't think oh so. no! I'm thinking of when they all came back for the thing. Yeah, because yeah, that was yeah. the whole click thing, and yeah, um, they, that but no, I would agree with them being inducted because they were an influential part of wrestling, and you know they contributed. You know who did fucking Billy Gunn sell a ticket? No, no. but you know yeah, he contributed. And, and, and Billy Gunn, I, 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 we, we did this a little bit on the board, but Billy Gunn was an integral part of that. Whether you like him or not, um, he, yeah, he did. No, I like Billy Gunn. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm not a huge Road Dog fan, but I like Billy Gunn. <laughs> I like Road Dog. I, lo- I loved. Uh, he was the first. I loved him getting on the bike, coming out, do his thing. I like. I loved the crowd interaction. That was a great thing and a great time for that. Um, yeah. And again, another great kind of turnover thing. So, all right, I think that's all our fan interactions for the moment. We got a little bit more here for the indie minute, but first, LB, I want to touch base with you on something very mm-hmm. special. I would like to have a conversation about touching base. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it playing the skin flute. You can play it. You can call it uh, making the sausage. You can call it uh, making biscuits. You can call it um, whatever you want. I like to call it good old fashioned jerking it. That's right, folks. Let's talk about the glories of masturbation. It might seem like a taboo subject, but not here. Not here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can feel comfortable with us here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Masturbation, you've been doing it for years, sometimes in secret, sometimes not so much in secret. And you know what? It's probably getting old. So why not spice things up? How? How? I can hear you screaming into your uh, your iDevice, your iPhone, your iPod, your I don't even know anymore. You're like, Lunchbox, it's so boring. What am I going to do? Well, I'll tell you what exactly what you're going to do. You are going to point your web browser of choice over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Look for the banner. With the pretty lady. Sorgan has a pretty lady on it, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Banner with the pretty lady. Click on it, and that'll take you to Fleshlight's website. Then all you have to do is shop like you normally would. They've got it all. They've got custom Fleshlights. They've got regular Fleshlights. They have exotic Fleshlights. Ever want to fuck a Navi from uh, Avatar? That's weird, but you can go ahead and do it. Uh, They have Fleshlights based off of real people, as long as you consider porn stars to be real people. But what if you're not a dude, or you are a dude and you're not into ladies? That's fine. Ain't no problem. Fleshlight has just the things for you. They've got personalized tools for each and every one of you. Are you a couple? They've got all kinds of fun stuff. Are you Are you gay? Are you straight? Are you male? Are you female? Whatever it is, Fleshlight wants to take care of you, and so does the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com, click on the banner with the pretty lady, and shop as normal at Fleshlight. Tell them DJ Lunchbox sent you. They won't know who it is, but the important thing is you will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sexy. And it is And now time. Wrestle there, fan. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. First of all, thank you, Lunchbox. I'm learning so much. Uh, I didn't know about the term making biscuits before. Still don't know what it means, but I'll, I'll go. Making with it. biscuits. <laughs> um, so it's time for the Indie Minute, I guess. Let's <laughs> we'll do that. Um I guess the first thing we should talk about this week is the stuff going on in the Sorgatron Media world in the PA area, and that's RWA, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, is this weekend on the 14th in West Newton, Pennsylvania, for Fall Free for All. Sorg! Well, I was going to toss the wheels to let us know what's going really? on in RWA. Really? Really? What's Russell happening? Really? Who's excited? You, you're, you're, you turn it to Sorg when I'm the man who plays 
the soulful music that gets that crowd rocking. <laughs> you still never it's played me. my suggestion, sir. I don't want to die, sword. Aww. A little smooth jazz. <laughs> little... No, no, no. It's not slow, smooth jazz. No, it's renegade. No. So what's going on at RWA? What is going on? I mean, last last show we had we had bitches going through tables. We got a birthday party. Nobody ate the cake Whoa. except for their face. We had balloons. We had craziness. We had people walking out of championship matches. It is calamity in RWA, <laughs> sir. What what is happening this month? What's on the agenda oh. for this month? Oh what can man, people expect? what's on the agenda, Sorg? Man, after last month, what do we expect from Ryan Edmonds? Well, I know what I'm expecting. Loaded to kick his ass. And maybe, just maybe, be thrown a champion and become the RWA Heavyweight Champion. And we also have another championship match. One that one man said he never wanted to see himself in again, but we will. It's G Raver versus J Ice for the Cruiserweight title. And we'll also get more updates on, as you put it, Sword, bitches going through tables. We get we get to hear what how Serafini's feeling, how Juice and Joey are feeling from the A list, and see what kind of ramifications will happen to the Wild West. And, and there were a lot of uh, after last month. There were uh, I know on her Instagram a lot of marks. Uh, uh, you know some some of the scrapes that she ended up with. Uh, so you can go find Serafina Serafini on uh, Instagram and check that out. Uh, so uh, so it's really uh, yeah. It, it, there's a lot of action there, uh, a lot of stuff going on. And we actually do have a promotion going on here through the Mayhem Show uh, with our friends at RWA. Uh, if you are in the Pittsburgh area, uh, we've been retweeting the last couple of days. We're going to continue here through Wednesday at least, and we're going to pick a winner. Uh, follow at Mayhem Show on Twitter. Retweet. Uh, our big tweet about the uh, show, uh, about the contest, about two free tickets to the show, uh, and we'll be uh, sending one of you down, guys down there to West Newton, uh, and you're going to have some uh, free tickets at the door there. Uh, so, yeah, if this is your time, you feel like, I would want, ah, I would want to check out some of this live pro wrestling in Pittsburgh, now's the time. We're trying to get more people down there to check it out. Uh, if this is your first chance to say, uh, maybe I'll, yeah, if I, I'll see if I can get some free tickets, go check it out. But even if you don't win the free tickets, I, I do encourage you to go. It's about, what, it was about 45-minute drive uh, out of downtown Pittsburgh, if I'm not mistaken. Something along there. There's a Sheets on yeah. the way. You're good. You know, mm-hmm. uh, that's what we do every time. We stop at that sheets down there on 51. You will probably run and into there's us. Ta- sure, there's a Taco Bell also. I don't nearby. know about the Taco Bell. There's a Chipotle. There is a Chipotle, and there's some Jesus Hate Chicken as well, if you're into that. West, West Newton's coming up. <laughs> well, it's you not- say Jesus Hate Chicken? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, what? That makes me happy to hear. <laughs> Um, well, we got to support our friends. Um, so, no, it's a good time. Great guys. J. Ice, G. Raver, friends of the show. Um, everybody else blanks me in the head. Uh, Logan's Ryan Edmonds. There. Ryan, Ryan Edmonds, Mitchell. Friend of the show. Ryan Mitchell as well. Uh, is, is Ryan Ma- Ryan's back this time taking on Scotty yes. Matthews. Scotty Matthews has been impressing me, too. Um, yes, yes. So there's a little bit of speech with him on the YouTube channel. It's uh, RWA Pro on the Twitters. I'm sorry, on yeah, on the Twitters. And I think that's yes. also RWA Pro on the YouTube. But you can get all that stuff at RWALive.com and get a little glimpse of what's going on down there and check out the DVDs and trailers and all that kind of stuff. And birthday hats. Look at that. Birthday party yes. hats. Excellent. Hats. I even had one on my head, and it was wonderful. It was, I mean, it was a good time. I, it was so much fun. Yes, it was good times, like that shirt. <laughs> it's fall free for all five. What else is coming up, Eamon? There is stuff coming up all over the United States of America and beyond if you live in other countries, but I'm just talking about the U.S. because that's all that matters. Uh, getting, I'm gonna, Screw I'm gonna you, international that. listeners! Wow. I'm going to get all the hate tonight. You um, gets the indie. Wrestle fan says so. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, uh, well, we would go from the Pittsburgh area to the Texas area this weekend. The whole uh, area. Anarchy Championship Wrestling is holding their uh, September event, Evolution of the Revolution, uh, in downtown Austin, Texas at Mohawks on uh, September 15th. Uh, it should be a fun event. Uh, JT LaMotta, who is a, uh, who's been a mainstay of the Texas independent wrestling scene, is slowly uh, going towards retirement. So he will be uh, facing Jimmy Jacobs in what is to be his last match in ACW. 
Uh, so that should be a big moment. Also, Davey Vega will be taking on front of the Wrestling Mayhem show, Ricky Starks, in what I think is going to be a spectacular match. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of fun stuff. So uh, if you want to go check them out, you can go to anarchychampionshipwrestling.com, get your tickets, and come down to the Mohawk in downtown Austin, Texas, uh, to go see some professional wrestling in uh, the Texas area. Also, if you're not in the Texas area, but you're still in the Midwest, there's a couple wrestling is events that are happening this weekend. On September 14th in Lafayette, Indiana, there is Wrestling is Heart. Um, and then on the 15th in Carbondale, Illinois, there is Wrestling is Intense. Uh, both of them look like very great shows. A lot of the great Midwest talent mixing it up with some of the guys that you see uh, sort of the mainstays of Wrestling is, but also a lot of that Chikara influence that's uh, sort of an infinite of Wrestling is. Um, it definitely Both of those shows definitely look like fun shows. You can go to WrestlingIsHeart.com and WrestlingIsIntense.com to get information on the event and uh, go get tickets. Yeah. Uh, so if you're in the Midwest area, I definitely encourage you to check them out because the wrestling is stuff looks really fun it is and, and uh, can i say the national pro wrestling day back in february i think most of the well, of course they're all chikara based so it made sense uh most of the wrestling is uh promotions uh 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 had a representation there um and mm. and, mo- and for the majority of them were very impressive uh so it, it's a great great concepts uh, uh again in the vein of the the chikara and just some other kind of versions of it and, and i like i like that it's popping up it's like it's like they took the chikara it, it's like they took the creed and the evangelism of chikara and spread it out and franchised it you know which i think yeah. might not be too far from the truth yeah they definitely they definitely seem like really fun shows mm-hmm. uh, so if you're in indiana or in illinois uh, this weekend uh, go check those shows out um also uh, all over the united states if you're in the rhode island area uh, and you want to see some great professional wrestling, Beyond Wrestling is holding a live event, uh, their event Point of No Return on uh, September 15th in Providence. Wonderful image. Look- Love I'm it. I'm sorry? Love the image. Oh, on their uh, Facebook. It's uh, Michael uh, Douglas Facebook. from Point of No Return, the movie, by the way. It's for, pretty for phenomenal. Audio. Uh, this looks that's, like that's a very actually from Falling because- Down. Falling Down? I'm sorry. I mixed them yeah. up. <laughs> I sorry. would have agreed with you. I'm young. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Good excuse. Uh, but this is going to be fun. They had their uh, event, American Rana, about a month or so ago. That was really great. They they brought in a good, uh, really nice crowd. And, uh, and they mixed up the Beyond Wrestling talent with some of the best talent all over the independents, which is really cool. Uh, and it looks like they're going to do the same thing again this month. Uh, the main event is Biff Music and Drew Gulak teaming up to take on Eddie Edwards and Roderick Strong. Uh, also, uh, Kevin Steen taking on Chris Dickinson. Michael Elgin will be taking on JT Dunn. Uh, you have Chuck Taylor. You've got all the great uh, Beyond Wrestling uh, competitors. They're really talented. Uh, Beyond Wrestling, I, I believe, is producing some of the best stuff on the independents right now. Uh, they, they have a lot of great content. They're always producing content on their YouTube channel. A lot of free stuff that you can check out and sort of absorb and, and get into. But definitely go to their live events that they have uh, that they have open to the fans and all that. Because it's, I mean, you sort of see more of the storyline stuff play out. Because they do have a lot of great storylines also going on and beyond. It's not just sort of the whole idea of wrestlers wrestling for wrestlers. And it's got like that fight club feel almost mm-hmm. in you know, like a small environment where you only have the wrestlers around the ring. But they're also are developing a lot of storylines. And from what I've heard, the live shows uh, where fans are able to attend are really fun. So I encourage you to go check that out Sunday, September 15th in Providence, Rhode Island. For Beyond Wrestling's Point of No Return, you can go to lookmanofans.com to uh, get tickets for that event and go check them out because I – it, it definitely looks like a really fun show if you uh, know the independent talents like Kevin Steen or Michael Elgin and want to see them, and also uh, talents from Beyond Wrestling that are some of the best untapped talents on the independent wrestling scene. So definitely go check out Beyond Wrestling this weekend. Excellent. Uh, and finally, uh, Alex Cars. Uh, we mentioned Five Dollar Wrestling earlier this uh, show uh, with uh, Riz's email, but he's in a full sort of rundown almost of uh, Five Dollar Wrestling. So let's get into that. Uh, hello, 10 percenters. It's your boy, Alex Cars, with a recap of the $5 wrestling I pay per view this past Sunday. This was originally posted on my website, powertothesmarks.com, plug, uh, which you can check out later for all sorts of goodies, including the partnership with Chikara 101 forum member Babs. Boom, shameless plug. Two plugs in one paragraph. Uh, 
Uh, what a show, guys. For those of you that who don't know what Five Dollar Wrestling is, here's the scoop. It's a comedic wrestling promotion that prides itself on containing terrible wrestling at its finest. A number of the wrestlers, that word being used loosely, have horrible gimmicks, including blatant rip-offs of well-known personalities in the business. And you know what? That's all right. Hosted and commentated by Colt Cabana and Marty DeRosa, Five Dollar Wrestling pro- promises a new way to entertain pro wrestling fans. To quote Fright Train, Five Dollar Wrestling is wrestling so good you gon' get your feet wet. I'm getting all the hate mail tonight. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it's just a fact uh, to everybody. I have you, all all uh, uh, minorities. Uh, the big story leading up to this high pay per view was that Jake Man Scout Manning had betrayed, had betrayed Freight Train at the Five Dollar Wrestling fans at their WrestleCon show, having had enough of the promotion that ruined his life. He vowed to make the next high pay per view the worst one ever by booking Freight Train against Big Donnie in a main event meant to be so terrible Five Dollar Wrestling could never survive. Based on how the high pay per view ended, the future of Five Dollar Wrestling seems to be unclear. But one thing is for sure: the spirit of Five Dollar Wrestling will live on. Five ever. Five ever, five ever, five ever, five ever. There you go. So, yeah. Five dollar wrestling. Like, the guys, this has been running rampant. You guys called me for a hangout, I think. Or when I was told Divas, uh, you guys were definitely. I was surprised you guys didn't do, like, a hangout wrap up of five dollar wrestling. Oh, I, think, I didn't get a chance to watch a person. Uh, that was Riz. That would be amazing and, uh, if you guys did that. And I, one, I would love to see and you guys one, uh, those Friday papers. Uh, obviously, Alexander Carr. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's some really awesome stuff. I believe it's five dollar wrestling dot com where you can get more information on all, all that stuff. Yep, excellent. And that is the indie minute for this week. That is the indie minute. So let me tell you real quick about something we have that's very independent. We have uh, WMS Gold. It's the app. It's for your iPhone. Maybe you got you're getting a brand new pink iPhone five C in a couple of weeks here, and you could get that i a WMS Gold app for that wrestling man. C stands for colors. Exactly. Um, iOS App Store, your Amazon App Store. It's really easy to add that to your uh, Android device if you don't have that. Just it tells you how to do it and everything. Uh, wheels can vouch for me. Tablets, yes, phones, 7 inches, 10 inches, half inches, some as big as LB's dick. Uh, but any way you <laughs> want it, uh, it's it's quick access to all the audio Are episodes. Are you talking about the iPad, iPod show. Nano? Sort? Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not really on there, though. Um, but no, you can get it. It's $1.99. Uh, quick, quick access to all the episodes, as well as all the social media, all the Twitter, all the. Uh, uh, you can call directly the hotline from there. Uh, so Matt doesn't. Matt Carlin says, doesn't forget the number. He could have just bought the app and said, "Bump, bump, bump." I'm good to go. Calling the Mayhem Show. Uh, so, uh, just, just pick it up to support the show, and you get some exclusive stuff that we put on Gold. Hell, there's some stuff we we're doing today. We we're recording. We weren't even broadcasting. So the only way you could say it uh, is is going to be on there. And that depends how it goes here in the uh, in the studio. You know, we like to kind of josh around with stuff. We were talking iPhones beforehand. I don't know if that went entirely through or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, because I kind of hit record, let LB go. So I don't even know what's going out, which is probably a really dangerous proposition. But yes. go, go check that out, $1.99 uh-huh. on yep. your app store. And with that, we're going to go check in on a, a couple of clips from what you can see on, on that app in Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold, as well as a little view of IWC's Mountain State Madness 5, including that big cage match with Blue Collar, Slaughterhouse, friend of the show, uh, Chess Flexor, and Marshall Gambino were involved. Oh, Brian McDowell as well, Andrew Palace, uh, all those guys. Uh, so go check that out. And we'll be right back with Remember When. was actually sick or not um but he was laying out on a futon <laughs> with a microphone on we didn't do video at the time um and we had the most intriguing conversations dude i'm not even on it riz you know what's coming out in october anymore. you know what you know it's a good nice breakfast beverage what, what is that vodka have some <laughs> fucking vodka with your eggs and start the day properly jack does work. <laughs> jack in the ipad oh, oh brother, shit you can buy an attachment Play so you can fuck your iPad. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. 
Hey guys, be sure to check that out. IWC's Mountain State Madness 5. Check out uh, what's coming up. They got a Friday fight night coming up in a few weeks. We'll hopefully have some more information about that here on the show and hopefully some more promotions uh, at IWCWrestling.com. And of course, check out our store, our DVD store at SorgatronMedia.com slash store. Uh, to check out, you can get that DVD now on or in digital download. A lot of people have been picking up on that. Uh, I've been really digging that. It's really cool that we can bring the indie wrestling in Pittsburgh with RWA and IWC to the 21st century with the digital downloads. And, and you get them a lot quicker than the DVDs, honestly. So Because it takes us time to do that crap, you know? Uh, so, hey, joining us, uh, Wheels has, has hopped out. He's going to be back later for the Hangout Roundtable, the, the, the all-in uh, Hangout Roundtable. But in the meantime, via his iPad from Poughkeepsie, New York, is Seamus. What? Poughkeepsie. I mean, it's Mad Mike behind there what the hell hi what's up sorg hey there he is he's he's on the mobile technology joining us so he's very square right now he's also not aiming which apparently i didn't rename him i apologize for that that's that's fine so we'll fix that up in a second uh but in the meantime is remember when uh, gold dust came back and there's a mighty fine debate about whether gold dust was worthwhile in the first place up we're, on the we're facebook, not gonna think on the facebook group uh a wrestling mayhem show so you can chime into that there that's not for what this is for we want to do remember when on gold dust uh so uh, it's time for that remember when I don't remember when And we're gonna remember it then I'm gonna see you again When we remember when And I remember when We're back to Sork <laughs> Yes, it's a remember when So yeah, so what is your what is your gold dust memory? Like when what, did it really kind of stick out for you? That Like wow, you know, gold dust uh, It creeped me the F out Or entertained the hell out of me Or really changed the game in wrestling Let's go, uh, uh, LB, what do you think? Two Two of them Number one is crazy weird match against Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and I think it was a WrestleMania. It's like thirteen, WrestleMania twelve, 13. twelve. Yeah, it's great. It was great, crazy shit, and they parodied the OJ Simpson thing, which yep. was also weird. Yep, uh, it was great. Number two, tangentially to Gold Dust, um, I have jerked it so many times the Molina <laughs> that you would not believe. You mean Marlena? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean who I mean. <laughs> to be fair, especially fucking the pictures of her in WWE play. magazine in the early days, I beat my dick like it owed me money. Uh, Do you remember when Melina, uh, when Marlena took her top off on Shotgun Saturday Night? Did I say Melina? Yeah, you, said you did Melina. say Melina. I would have believed it. Oh, you I know still what? Believe Both. Melina. Both. Same Z's. Same Z's. I'll jerk it to both of them all day long. <laughs> what about you, Eamon? Hey, what what memories do you have in your? Uh, yeah, let's talk about when I jerk it. Experimental uh, phase here, because that will be fun. I uh, know. Like, no, uh, WWE ECW because I was. <laughs> there you go. Here and, and by the way, this is this is for LB. There you go. Yes, but that's not. That was later. Eamon? Goldust had to be in the same picture with him for her, for uh, for her to get for him to get off. Oh, um, that's weird. The only thing I can think about was uh, when I first got into wrestling. And I know when I kind of made my point about Goldust, people kind of shit on this, but the um, Randy Orton Batista attacking Goldust, throwing him into a power thing on a wall, uh, and making him stutter. Mm -hmm. uh, that was another thing that he got, and they gave it to him, and he sort of made work. Like his segments where he was like stuttering through words was pretty hilarious. Uh, I, I I I really enjoyed those. I thought they were very comical and they were sort of they 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 were I think they were a good comic relief at points. I, I thought it was fun. Uh, so yeah, that's mine, uh, Mike. Uh, well, I have two. One was I remember when I really didn't know what a gay person was back in the day. Gold does educate us all, didn't he? he what really the fuck? You live in New York. And, and well, no, I'm, I'm up in Poughkeepsie, for fuck's sake. I mean, you know, we didn't know shit about Oh, yeah, fuck. you did. I'm sorry. I forgot that. Yeah, we didn't know shit about fuck. But um, anyway, I remember <laughs> feeling incredibly awkward when Goldust would cut promos against both Piper 
and the warrior because they sounded like they were saying really, really, really mean things to Goldust, but they were supposed to be the good guys. So I never knew which way to go on that because I kind of felt like bad for Goldust because he was being, you know, made fun of for reasons I didn't quite understand, especially since he came out with Marlena. Mm -hmm. And the second one, Booker T and Goldust at the movies. Oh, wow. Fucking awesome. I, I got to I got to kind of second that. I, I, you know, a lot of the uh uh second third it I guess. Uh, a lot of the Booker T Goldust stuff is some of my favorite stuff comedy wise. How many times they got away from saying saying or almost saying something really really FCC naughty on TV uh <laughs> because of his stutter was just Hey, hey Booker Booker learned they, from his mistake. That's right. That's right. That's why. That's why Booker had the biggest of wide eyes. With the oh, you're not gonna say that. Oh, uh, uh, whatever that happened. He's like, I've been there. I called Hulk Hogan mm-hmm. that word. Don't you do it, Goldie. Um, so no, I, th- I thought that was some of the best stuff. Um, and the, guy, the guy, every time he comes back, you know, uh, he came back. He, we were talking last night. He, he came back at the 2013 Royal Rumble. We forget. You know, mm-hmm. um, and he still looks good. He looked good in Meadville. He look, you know. It, it, he he's uh, always a great. Uh, You've seen him a couple times in Texas, there, right, Amen? Um, yeah, I thought he looked amazing. It was yeah. crazy. How, I I mentioned how crazy it's like he hasn't aged. Yeah, like it's weird, it's kind of spectacular. It is weird. Uh, he's doing that movie with your buddy Brandon Stroud. That, that's awesome. He uh, is. So I, I forgot about somebody tweeted about last time. I'm like this movie looks from. Oh, we talked about this. <laughs> oh, uh, so <laughs> so there you it. go. Um, and uh yeah there you go uh so so uh, let us know your favorite gold dust moment uh at mayhem show on the twitters uh hashtag at remember when hashtag at wms uh 386 as well uh so we can find that stuff and, and, and please check that out so now's the time we go to mad mike's minute of wait no that's not right that's not right it uh, is no, mad no, mike. no 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 this is the time we talk about t-shirts good sir um i like t-shirts Mad Mike can get mad about the t-shirts if he wants i've I have a Yankee t-shirt. That's not the right oh, t-shirt. Oh, you mean the ones we're selling? The ones we have. These wonderful yeah. ones like this. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com t-shirt <laughs> by the great yeah. Alex Cars, who's been doing covers, of course, for us with RWA. He has a, an excellent property, a Mayhem shirt. I know we've had Riz on the show wearing it before. I go. To, it's over at ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. These are the same guys you hear about on Colt Cabana's Art of Wrestling podcast. Uh, go check it out. This is really, really high quality stuff guys um they let us do uh three designs here we're, we're trying to hit that threshold so we can add some more we got a bunch of great ideas to put some stuff on there uh so go you can get the old school wms logo you can get the property of mayhem the good times at wrestling mayhem show.com everything retails for 19.99 plus shipping and handling of course but while you're there like of course support the show check out these great shirts but check out pro wrestling tees.com in general because not only is it they, they're great enough to have us at the re- with the wrestling mayhem show but while you're there, you can go check out the the scores of wrestling t-shirts they have. They have Colt Cabana t-shirts. They have a DDP t-shirt. Uh, what we got on the... We got DDP yoga. I can wear that while I'm doing my downward dog. We got Trent... Uh, uh, not Trent Reznor. We have Trent. There's a Gold Dust <laughs> shirt on here. A Shattered Dreams with him as a Sith Lord. That's amazing. Good stuff on here. Some parody stuff. They've been having some Yes, Yes, Yes shirts on here. Kind of in a barbershop window style. But you have so many wrestlers as well kevin steen um you know anybody you can think of in the indies that that's hot uh, you, you can check them out cliff compton christian york christopher daniels is on here they, uh, like we said ddp trent Beretta, the young bucks have a great video game t-shirt ach friend of wrestle fan uh tony <laughs> needs of a lot of people friend of the uh, B- iwc Red lover big lg almost friend of the wrestling sham show daphne i like her and she was really nice to talk to uh all those people uh go to pro wrestling and they like said just toss ours in the basket too while you're t-shirt shopping and you can support the mayhem we really appreciate it. and you support alex too uh if you pick one of his designs uh so you know, you're supporting a, a a new uh a designer out there uh as well as a, a fledgling seven-year-old podcast podcast something like that so but no, i don't no, know no. what that word was you just said fledgling fledgling oh, god wrestle fan read a Dude, fucking you're book in fucking you're in college, college. man is you that like in college you're paying a lot of money yeah, that's to exactly go to like college. Flesh- 
You're what the fuck is happening? What are you doing down there? God you damn it, wrestle fan. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fucking Nyquil. <laughs> so let's get into it. Let's lay last night on Raw. We uh, uh, we had we already talked about Goldust and Randy Orton. I I love this this angle they're doing with the Rhodes family. I hope mm-hmm. I hope Dusty comes back and does set stuff straight because he's doing NXT right. Isn't he Booker? Yeah, doing NXT? I said I said this a couple weeks ago. I'm with you. The Rhodes and Daniel Bryan versus the Shield and. Um, Randy Orton at Battleground. We are That's two guys smart. of the same minds. We, it, it, it's, it, I went that War Games. Let's do it. I don't think they'll do two cages, but they could do something, right? They could the do Elimination Chamber. They, I, really? I don't know if they could do Elimination Chamber. No, no, here's how you do it. Three on three. You start that off with a tag team. Yeah. Start off with tag teams in there. Two guys for each side, then two guys outside in each in the pods. Okay. Start off with like Ambrose and Ambrose and Reigns in the match. Orton and Rollins are in the pods. Then you start off with Brian and Cody, and Dusty is the last person to come out of a pod. I really do feel uh, uh, there's there's a problem. There's the problem with this. Yeah. They'll never do it in a million years. Yeah, this is that. I, I, I like the idea, but that's close to like TNA Reverse Battle Royal shit. <laughs> How is that yeah, close? They're not, they're not, it's an they're option not in their video game. I think I think there's a possibility. I, I feel like this is something, especially with Daniel Bryan. They've put Daniel Bryan in the mix. Uh, and, you know, it's big enough of a name right now that you can tie it up with the Rose family. I know the Rose family will only marginally draw or whatever, but it's cool to see that. You know, I think you'll get a lot of kind of old school fans saying, "Oh, Goldust is doing this, and Dusty Rose is doing this," in, in, in some fashion. You know, even if it's as mm-hmm. a, a outside of the ring kind of thing. Um, but I, I really think I don't think it can be the Elimination Chamber unless they change the pay per view next year. Like, I really don't think they can they can dip into that again. Just like you don't see a Hell in a Cell anywhere else. You don't see the Chamber anywhere else. You don't see... That's not true. What? They had no, tri- yeah, no, that really is true. <laughs> they had Triple H versus Taker at Hell in a Cell at Mania. Yeah, that's that, was the, that was probably the one exception. Mania, yeah. all bets are off. If yeah. it's Dusty Rhodes, you can make an exception. Maybe, maybe. But no. I feel like if they're no, going to do the WWE, they I don't give like, a fuck about Dusty and, in the and, WWE. And, 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 and I love the idea. I really hope it happens. But I feel like they're not going to do a cage match of any sort uh, uh, right before. Right before is it Hell in a Cell? Yeah. Well, I, I, they sc- it, did they get rid of Hell in a Cell, or did they get rid of something else? No, no. Hell in a Cell is there. They got rid of over the limit. Still there. Yeah, they changed. No, over well, the- no. What's the one for Hell Battleground? Cell. No. Hell in a Cell is after is uh, before Battleground. Yeah. So I, I just can't see them doing. I mean, unless it's that much bigger of a cage match than freaking Hell in a Cell. You know, I, I think you could almost do a War Games in a Hell in a Cell. To be honest, uh, maybe that's what happens at Hell in a Cell. Maybe we step this up a month and we're thinking about it. You know, I mean, and we also have to consider it is Buffalo, New York, but they really give them something that big. Yeah. Mm. You already got a quarterback that actually works this year. Well, no, I think at this point, Hell in a Cell kind of sells itself just based on the fact that you have cell matches. Yeah. But Battleground is a completely new pay per view. They need something big to draw it in. And I really hope. Another another Randy Orton Daniel Bryan match isn't going to do that. Exactly. Well, what's the. What's the. uh, What's the. Where's Battleground at? Buffalo. Oh, that's the one in Buffalo. Because that's the thing. I feel like they should do it in front of a crowd. That's like a, not a, like the way the Toronto crowd was last night. Yeah, like uh, Buffalo is not necessarily like the best crowd to like make something. They're kind of like the casual wrestling fan, and they they're gonna cheer for Dust the Rhodes family or whatever, but they're not gonna like you know, it's not gonna be as memorable. I guess you could say. Yeah, Daniel uh, Bryan has all the heat though. It I, it doesn't matter what city you go to, now, Daniel Bryan, because everyone can do the yes chant. Yeah, and it gets pretty oh, yeah. strong yeah. most the places. Yes. They'll yes chant when Dusty does his bionic fucking elbows. Yeah. Well, they yes chant for near everything now. I mean, it's become a th- it's become such a thing where you know they do it for any time they are affirmative about you know something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it's uh, I, I I don't think that's going to change. I just wonder if this, this is going to be another gimmick pay per view. You know. Because it feels like the ones that they placed in. Well, I mean, there was. I guess there was. Uh, 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 what was the one we had here in Pittsburgh? The, uh, the the one that was like Raw versus SmackDown. 
uh, bra- bragging, bragging, rights. bragging rights. You know, I I, I don't know. They could, they couldn't. I, I, I'm kind of iffy. I, I I honestly, as much as I want it to be something special, I would not be surprised if it's just another, you know, vengeance or 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 over the limit or something. Um, I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised just because of where it is between uh, Hole in a Cell and Survivor Series and TLC. After that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see. The, just like a little throwaway thing. We'll see. We got what two months, or it's next month, isn't it? It's next month because well, it's, it's like yeah, night champions in that. Night champions is this fucking Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Oh we, my we, God. Let's talk about that. Going to that, I mean, we got night of champions. Let's take a look at what's going on here with night of champions. Um, oh boy! Of course, we got. Notice the pictures. I love the pictures they're using. They got they got Orton with the picture holding the belt, looking down to it. You got Daniel. Then they go to Daniel Bryan holding no belt, looking up at you like pissed right i love the visuals going into this this is a great curtis, story i'm best with, curtis I, axel is done is the picture of him looking at the ic belt yeah that's the best thing he's done so far since the gimmick change i saw it last night i'm raw i'm like that is a really good graphic of axel mm-hmm. even though <laughs> his belt is not on the line good job production team not not no 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 credit to curtis axel but the production team did awesome picking that picture <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, that's that's fine. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, no, Curtis Axel is not fine. Curtis Axel is looking at that belt like <laughs> Curtis Axel is not fine. It's literally <laughs> my only shot. Yeah, if this doesn't work, I am fucked. Yeah. I might as well be Ted DiBiase Jr. He pretty much he's pretty close. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. I, I, I think I'm, I'm with you. I think Orton wins. I think something happens here. It's a screw job. Or, Orton Daniel, has to win for it to mean anything. Yeah, it does. Of course, it does. Orton wins because Daniel Bryan got the advantage on Raw. Of course, dude. It's not even that though. If Daniel Bryan wins, why the fuck does the story matter? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. I mean, then the corporation thing falls apart, or do they they strip them into the next night? You know, some shenanigans there. Who knows? Uh, but we'll see. I, I, I think it, it, either way, it's going to be a good match. I think I think Brian's been doing decent stuff with Orton. Orton's kind of coming back around. Uh, you know, now he has some purpose. Um, what about Punk and Axel and Heyman? You know, uh, we had the water slip <laughs> incident last night, which was kind of interesting. Uh, this really was funny, but more than anything, Heyman is the star of the show. Even with CM Punk and Tell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, this is this is a match about Paul Heyman. For Paul Heyman, uh, against Paul Heyman. Uh, I mean, Punk is there. Punk is doing Punk's thing, but Punk doesn't need to be around almost for this, you know. Uh, it, yeah. it, this you, know was, su- you know who super doesn't need to be around for this? Curtis Axel. Curtis I know. Axel. I know. I know. Curtis but Axel. Good for Curtis Axel. I go back to the the the. I mean, he's a great guy in the ring. He's a guy that's going to do most of the work here. But the character work is going to be Punk and Heyman, and I think it's going to be the most entertaining match of the night. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. That's okay. What's your pick? What's your pick there, Mike? Tag team championship match. Tag team championship match. Which, which is, I mean, we're having a pre-show. I love turmoil matches. Okay, love- sure. That's gr- the only thing that sucks is that the um, the Wyatt family's not in there. Yeah, but they got other stuff going on. Um, I bet they pop oh, up and do something. Do they? Um, wait, wait, they're, they're, they're not. No, they're, they're beating people like Dolph they Ziggler. They don't have now. a match, but I think they'll pop up and do something creepy. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, I think we're still waiting for the return of Kane on that. Yeah, yeah, we'll see that probably after October when they film See No Evil Two, right? Uh, so you yeah, got a couple months. Mm, for that. I, I love the Where's Kane promos. I, I am really enjoying those. They're, they're a perfect level of creepy. I, I, just, I just really dig it. So. Um, okay, uh, anything else about that, about Punk? Wait, there is, am I wrong that there's five matches announced for the show? Yeah, five matches, one of them's a pre-show. Well, no, you have, because you have the tag title match. Yeah. So I bet matches. on SmackDown they're going to make something with Ambrose where, like, there's going to be a battle royal or something or... Yeah, get those last couple titles in there. Um, maybe get the uh, I well, no, not the IC belt because that's involved already. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, remember we did cut yeah. the belts in half a couple years ago. So um, yeah, that's but fine. even still, like that's kind of interesting. It's all champions, man. Yeah, but they like they don't have enough 
belts to really justify a whole pay per view. They need no. like one or two more matches on that. They do, and I mean, back when you had, and like, I mean, it doesn't matter if they throw in a match that isn't a championship match as long as they really have all the champions on there. Yeah, yeah, it looks like they're about there too. Um, actually, it looks like yeah, because all you're you're missing is that U.S. title. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. Uh, and what, what's he? What have they been doing with him? Maybe they give him Big Show. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, they haven't done anything with him because he's been part of the uh, corporation thing. Yeah, they yeah. Have, and being amazing. <laughs> well, yeah, but still. But, but they haven't. They have given him an individual thing to do. I think Kofi's been kind of in, mixed up in the IC picture, so I guess that doesn't really make any sense either. So, oh, yeah. well, how about the Total Divas match? With, uh, uh, again, it started it's like so interesting. I'm already over it. <laughs> it's uh, going to be phenomenal. It's going to be incredible. AJ is going to put on a good show, and I'm going to tune into Total Divas season two or season two or one B, based off of the strength of this match alone. I, I think I think it will be a decent match. It's just uh, I feel bad for AJ. I do feel bad for AJ because it could be something great, and it's just not. You know, it would be fantastic it, it if against? somehow she won this. Uh, it, is it a, against Natalia? It's against Natalia. It's AJ, Natalia, Brie. Naomi, and Brie Bella. Now, if it was just AJ and Natalia, it'd be a good match. Yeah, but there's a lot of filth in there. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi's not that bad. No, no, no. It, Naomi's pretty good. Mm-hmm. My thing is, I nope. and I said it. And they tried to explain it on Raw, and they did an okay job of it. AJ's militia to try to take out the Total Divas uh, is Alicia Fox, Layla, and Oksana. Mm-hmm. It like, came together better on SmackDown, though. Um, SmackDown doesn't look that good, Sorg. I'm just checking to see if they announced any matches. Yeah. Well, SmackDown doesn't look very good. Ah, you know. I, well, SmackDown looks good for one reason. That I'm not no, talking about. no. No, 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 yeah. I don't understand. What, what's the reason? They're, 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 it's, uh, it's an indie wrestling reason. No one cares. No, no, tell they're, me, they're, they're wrestle fan. Tell riddles. me the reason. I want to know. Just, the, just look out Look out for the Ryback please, segment. That's all I'll say. Please tell me, please. <laughs> oh, boy. You're no fun. You won't tell me sweet secrets. Oh, no spoilers. <laughs> no later. spoilers. Anyways, like Lisa, <laughs> you mentioned the tag team turmoil, so, I mean, who do you think is going to win on that one? Uh, uh, what, what would, uh, 3MB versus The Shield, man. I think, the, I think the players. Players, yeah, I think uh, players for sure these days. Uh, tons of funk barely get heard of. They're not even on Total Divas all that maybe, often. Maybe the Usos. Yeah, could be the Usos, you know. I mean, they could they could throw them up there anytime. I mean, it, you can be cheered. You know Really great mm. if, um, like the shield came in and just laid waste to all the guys, mm-hmm. but then Los Matadores came out and beat up the shield. Oh, yeah, that would be the opposite oh, again. Yeah. What world would that be great? No, no, I want I want Los Matadores to beat the shield when uh, Roman Reigns goes for the spear and they just like do the ole and he, run, he runs into the corner and they win. Like Roman, yeah, Reigns what world would that be great? And they, <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Eamon, I'm trying to get my smile doors come in and have an awesome thing and fuck the entire shield. (laughs) Eamon, I'm trying to get you on a pay-per-view. Shut up. Uh, it's not gonna, really me. We're gonna, How does your hey, mask fit? We're going to repackage WrestleFan, give him a mask, and give him the Matador thing. He's going to say Ole a lot. I think this is going to make the podcast like, like really number one in iTunes, guys. Yes. <laughs> In that Spanish market, even though I'm Puerto Rican, and then and then we're also going to repackage Mad Mike as the Shockmaster for no reason whatsoever. I'm absolutely okay with that. <laughs> I feel so bad for this. If I get a glitter covered stormtrooper helmet, I'm okay with anything you want. To well, do. that kind of wins in general, doesn't it? Like at least at least the guy got the helmet, right? Mm, I think he had it with him at WrestleCon. Plus, um, if I'm the Shockmaster, that means Arn Anderson does my voice. <laughs> that alone is worth it for the podcast. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. great. And so we, audio listeners wouldn't even know. They think, I'm like, wow, when did they get Arn Anderson on this podcast? Exactly. Like big time. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys say there, Eamon? Oh, I was going to say, uh, we mentioned, we slightly mentioned it a bit earlier, but I guess we, I want to kind of elaborate on it, how awesome that Antonio Cesaro-Santino Morella match was. And 
WWE legitimately like shocking me and changing my opinion because me and a couple other people when we were in a hangout when they saw when we saw Santino come out we kind of let out a collective groan. This is like oh god Santino, but that was literally Santino at his best. Yeah, and yeah. what I love about Santino, yeah, his like pandering like when they had the whole guest host stuff and he would do like stupid pandering stuff like backstage like yeah that wasn't fun it was just sort of like pandering and i and it makes me sound kind of stupid but like to appeal to the kids and all that and whatever and that's fine but the slapstick comedy and the actual in-ring like comedic stuff from santino is amazing yeah and especially when you pair him with a guy like cesaro who just basically beats the shit out of him and yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, and it was and and it was we, great. It, it, and I, I, we that was I think that was the match where most of us in the hangout last night were audibly like, "Whoa!" You know, um, it was fun. Uh, it was uh, mixed with good wrestling. You know, uh, there wasn't much. It wasn't long. Uh, there was really like one or two things that were like kind of like, uh, "Oh wow, that was cool." But you know, I think and I stand by this. I think I said I tweeted something on the Mayhem Show account, which got a lot of response, both positive and negative. Um, of you know, if you were not entertained by a match like that, um, it, 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 you should shut sh- off your TV and go to bed right now. You know, because uh, uh, that's I think that's the kind of thing we watch Monday night for. Am I am I wrong? No, I thought it was great. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like if you weren't entertained by that, if you're not here to be entertained, if you're here to to, to, to bitch about work rate, if you're here to to complain about how Raw is not okay, what it I'm was sorry. If you're gonna bitch about work rate, that people need to understand the definition of also a work rate. Like that match had work rate. Yeah, yeah, it did. The like job. that was These a fucking guys, phenomenal wait, match. Wait, wait, they had who, comedic who timing. was bitching about work rate in that match? No, 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 no. no. I'm just talking about the general conversation that happens with Monday Night Raw. What general conversation? I have never in my life. Seriously, I've never in my life heard someone actually bitch about work rate. You don't go on the internet, sir. You're right. I don't read the comments. That's a good point. I mean, I mean this is this is the general th- this is the general conversation I heard. This is the general conversation I heard working CSR for a number of weeks. This is what that mass dirt sheet media is that a term? The the master the mass the main, dirt sheet media the main really dirt sheet. What? I, I don't know. Maybe I mean, it's because I don't times... go on like the indie message boards and, and, no, no, and look don't. at this kind you of don't. thing. It, but like, I don't know. Just, of, it, and, and I don't either. It, it, seems, it seems it seems a lot like um, like. People call like calling the mainstream media the lamestream media. You know what I mean? I, I just I don't understand it. I, 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 it's I a get whole other asking. huge conversation, but I don't get it. it is. I, 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 I think I think a lot of it. There's a bit of a stigma that comes with it that people think that internet wrestling fans only care about work rate. Yeah, but there are people that argue that. But I think for a majority, people just want to see good wrestling. There are other people that are dead set on work rate and that. And if you watch like a like if you watch like a shoot interview or whatever, and you hear like one of these guys complaining because you know oh people want work rate or whatever, like that's where the stigma comes from. There are also a lot of people who just use the word work rate because they want to sound smarter. That's true too. I mean, and this yeah. is and this is the people that filter through all the time when talking about WWE. And and and, and again, I go to the conversation. WWE's entertainment. They say they're entertainment. If you're looking for holy crap, crazy match, you're looking in the wrong place. But be pleasantly pleased when you do see it. And we are seeing yeah. it a lot. Um, and, and I think, and I think you could put that match anywhere, and it would have been successful. Exactly. I, I think. I think you put. Um, that was more like an NXT match. What were you talking about? Like the Antonio thing? or Yeah, the Antonio and, and Santino. Like, yeah. that would be something that they'd show on NXT. Yeah, and Absolutely. that's fine, you know? Um, I, I, I And I really enjoyed that, you know? I, and I just, like, you know, I, I'm watching this match. I'm like, wow, this is a really good match. If you don't like this match, you probably are not the kind of person that should be enjoying Raw in general, you know? Because yeah. I think that's representative of uh, both Someone spectrums. who can enjoy that giant swing needs to cut their wrists right now. Just in general. Yeah. <laughs> it's a well, little intense. Okay. All right. All right. That's something. I, I'm sorry. I don't need to get extreme, I, but this, 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 this is this enjoy is, a guy swinging around a fake Italian yeah. for about 45 seconds. Dude, the, the, a, a fake the, Italian. The, the giant, the giant swing and, and then, falling down. The giant swing and then Santino doing the I'm going to run at you for a punch and then just fall down was fucking phenomenal. And it's and, and it shows why Santino was so good because he has that, you know, that that pulse on comedic timing. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he gets I, it. Well, I think we also need to realize that Santino is the most effective when he takes off three months at a time. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Well, he gets it a little longer to... for one or two matches, then goes away again. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best thing in the it world. It could be. It could be. Because really, if he sticks around too long, you can't build him and let him win anything. Yet people love him. And, he, and I mean, it's it's kind of hard to make him a jobber and still sell those diabolical little snake sock thingies. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I see where you're going there. Um, but but still, uh, yeah, and he can get a little too long of truth. I, I love... I, it's amazing what happens. It seems like injuries are the greatest pe- things for these people as far as the public perception, isn't it? Like, we're probably going to love Seamus when he comes back, right? Unless you're Christian. Unless you're Christian. Yeah, they yeah like Chris, well Christian just never gets off on the right foot. I, oh man, you want Christian to do so well. I I loved when he was in TNA, to yep. be honest. I thought yeah, because he was the best out of what stuff. they had. Well, also, right before he went to TNA, when him and Jericho were feuding with Cena, yeah, just oh, a creepy yeah. little bastard. That, oh, yeah. was, that was. I don't really... remember a lot of that. It was. Christian, um, it's part. Christian's like, always been a guy that you can deliver a great match. It's just not, you know. Yeah, it's just not his, you know. Forte, like I don't. Re- he's returned a couple times, and I don't remember any of the uh, the, the returns. I just remember when he came back and, and won the world title there, and it seemed like only because Edge. Did. Like it felt yeah. like Edge was gone. Like it felt like he he settled into that Chavo role after Eddie died. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he, he's he's been yeah. Chavoed, and it's real unfortunate. <laughs> um, and it's unfortunate for Chavo as well. So, yeah. um, all right, let's. Uh, yeah, well, anything else? Oh, actually, we'll wait until we bring in the 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 crew here to talk about Total Divas because I think uh, yeah, I think <laughs> that'll probably work out the best, right? Uh, so, anything else you want to touch base before we unleash the hounds? AJ's commentary. Yeah, good stuff. Oh my god, oh my god, so good. Mm. Yeah, because she pretty much. Like, it was good for the fact that she pretty much shit on them, which rightfully deserved, you know. Because mm-hmm. they don't know how to, you know, talk about women. <laughs> they don't know how to talk to women, let alone about women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, also, I, I have one more I, thing. What? I have to say, I've been giving the corporation angle a lot of grief. I really, really liked Triple H last night. Yeah, it, it, doesn't he feel, uh, I've been saying he, he, he feels very mafia boss at this point. Yes, especially when they yeah, brought out Christian. Yeah. When the Shield carried out Christian, I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna fucking snuff him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was waiting for Orton to walk up and just punt him in the head and Christian to just be lying unconscious. Yeah, hey, I'm curious to see what they, they're gonna do on SmackDown with Edge as well. Uh, LB, you said you had one more thing. Big Show hates televisions from 1993. Yeah, did somebody say, bring this from your down. house so we can destroy it? What was that about? Yeah, that was great. <laughs> hey guys, that's just Canada. It's just Canada. All right. They're just getting Arrested Development now. Oh, wow. Yeah, Canada is like a third world country, totally. <laughs> and the commentary about the, 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 the system, the, uh, the uh, healthcare system was really interesting, too. And by the way, congratulations to uh, PWR, T- PWR Pro-, Pro Wrestling Rampage, Erie PA, uh, heavyweight champion being the doctor last night. Um, so, so much so their sight was down for a couple minutes when people figured that out last night. <laughs> so somebody might want to get a new host. Hey, we got the, the crew with us. We got the hangout guys. Oh, there's me. So we'll, we'll have to switch you? this up a little bit. We got Bobby FJ Town. We talked about a lot tonight. Um, and then, guys, if you want to bring up t- Total Divas, now is the time. Uh, tell us, uh, what do you want to bring up out of, out of uh, a big point on wrestling this week? Uh, Steve Blackman, um, MD. Steve Blackman, MD. Tremendous. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, Total Divas was... Eh. Yeah? <laughs> it was all right. Um What's his name? Vinny is the worst. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, um, Ariani is worst. And the rest are okay. <laughs> I didn't even get to see it yet, unfortunately. Thanks, I think no, no, Bobby. Bobby did a good job with that recap. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's about all it was got, this week. We got what? Like an episode left, right? I'll probably I'll probably do a recap of it tonight. Good. 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 Uh, wheels. 
Yes. Anything else you want to bring up from what we've been talking about the last uh, a little bit since we let you go? Oh, wow. I was up at the college campus watching with a couple friends watching Raw. And one of the things you just mentioned when you guys were in the hangout was Cesaro and Santino. And we were all just watching him swinging him, swinging, <laughs> swing. And we're all sitting there. We're like, okay, if we're getting dizzy, he must be about to hurl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Break out Santino Somebody actually fell. said that was about 26 spins. Well, wow. is it, um, Cesaro did, um, I mean, Claudio, there's a video out there of him doing over 100, right? Yeah, I, I believe so. There was one. It was it was uh, posted like shortly after on Twitter of like him and Shakara. Uh, and it's supposed to be like a uh, little longer than practically that. Practically a midget. It's practically a midget that he does it with. <laughs> well, Grizzly Red one. Oh, it's Grizzly Red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, um, what about you, Riz? And what country are you hailing from tonight? Apparently, I am hailing from Djibouti. 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 Do you do you know? In do you know? Everybody. Do you know the capital of Djibouti? Uh, Djibouti? Djibouti? It's Djibouti. Ah. A little fun fact. Um, but still, uh, I mentioned this, and I believe Alex mentioned this as well. If you haven't watched $5 Wrestling, <laughs> you are as Bad as Gunner from TNA. Must wow. move that way. I'm, 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 throwing the, I'm throwing the gauntlet out. That's a little hard. You gauntlet. are as bad as Gunner. Gauntlet, gauntlet. If hey, that's you, not too bad. Gunner has like four t shirts on TNA shut up. website. <laughs> if you, it's all about if the merch, you baby. want to see wrestling, there's nothing like $5 wrestling where. A man with a tiny arm can clothesline somebody to death. No, watch that five dollar wrestling. Bobby, no. No, Bobby, I'm already did your job. And on my smooth belly. Smooth. Oh, Wait, are we all doing freight train? Are we all? doing a freight train? Are we doing freight train impersonations? And no, we, like, no, we aren't. like I said during my uh, some of us are doing freight train impersonations. <laughs> I will abstain <laughs> I because I would like my to avoid email, uh, time in hell. Thunderbolt, which was the the guy who was just walking around aimlessly in where the apron was. Uh, Thunderbolt got into it with uh, freight train. And Freight Train started yelling back at Thunderbolt. I bet that's his real name. Uh, and called him a stupid... Ninja? Close. Okay. The, unit Cl okay. the closer, ver the, the cleaner version of Ninja. Uh, just, just pick him up. Nickelback? Martial artist? Close. <laughs> yes. Djibouti? Djibouti. Oh. <laughs> he called him a stupid Djibouti. Stupid. And it was probably, it was funnier than him saying he would be a string bean. Strang bane. Strang bane. Oh, yeah, but the best part really about the right. string bean comment was that he had it readily available. It's like he knew. <laughs> he knew we were going to ask him that question, and he's like, I got this I got, immediately. I string bane. I'd be a strang bane. <laughs> Nailed it. Knocked that shit he, out of the park. If I could give, nail it. If I could give Freight Train an award as guest for the Mayhem Show, I would do it. And I think we can. I think we, we do. Can. We I think do. that's coming we around. Can. I think it's going to be a unanimous winner next year. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about he that. Better one be, yeah, he better be. I'm leaving the show. I don't, that'll be, that, I don't think he'll be unanimous. No? I don't think it will be. No. Who are you voting for? I'm not sure yet. You're not He's sure. Going yet. for Mad Mike like, like, for some reason. You're just like somebody's better than that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Man. Um, well, <laughs> guys, let's learn. What'd you learn from wrestling uh, this week? Again, chat room, please hit it up as well. Great picture of the full blooded Italians going on in there. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, LB, what'd you learn? I learned that uh, whenever we have these uh, these little like round the pole questions, like remember when and this. 
Um, you ask me first every time. <laughs> I don't know about every I should time. Really, <laughs> eat my I should string. Really you should learn to have something pole. ready. You should have your string um, being answered ready. Mm-hmm. I should, I should, I should have something ready we instead don't have of an uh, answer, stalling just say string bean. and having <laughs> strange <laughs> long explanations uh, yes. before I actually answer the question. Um, oh, I learned. Okay, I, yeah, okay. Christian, I learned Christian's greatest skill. Christian's greatest skill is playing a rag doll. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he look sad, all like broken and laying on the uh, on the ramp? Yep. All Canadian and skinny alone. and sad and mediocre. That's what I learned. Look like me if I fell out my chair. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wheels. Oh, wheels. No. <laughs> wheels. Iron no. Time, NBC, coming this fall. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, what'd you learn from wrestling? Uh... I learned Gunner has four t-shirts on TNA's shop. <laughs> <laughs> Closest thing I got. Trivet is from the chat room. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know who this is because her name went away. I think this is Texas Anarchy. Uh, it says, I learned that Flying oh, Brian is. is still a shooter, brother. <laughs> yeah. News. Okay, okay hold Mike. On, hold on. Hold on. What's For up? anyone who didn't see the Impact wrap up, oh, yes. Watch it. Cannon. I, I do not Loose. do others' horns very often. But my God, Brian Goddamn Pillman was amazing. He was. He, would you say he was a loose cannon? I would say he is loose, and then I would say he is cannon. <laughs> Bangle. Yes. <laughs> say hi to Marlena for me. What the Aww. hell is going on? <laughs> uh, Riz. We're holding seances, Riz, guys. I, what did you learn? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, can we plug? Can we plug while we're at it? This insanity happens every Thursday night after Impact. <laughs> we hold seances on Thursday nights. If you're not, I go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com. There are posts for the, the Raw wrap up, the TNA Impact after show. Uh, we've been doing them after pay per views as well. Uh, these hangout on airs where it's just like you know these guys joining us here, um, and they post straight out the YouTube. I don't know if we've been sending out the link. I know I did this. We're, we're trying to send out the link when we do a live. Uh, if you, try, you follow Google Plus, you'll see it there as well. Um, and it's like a mini mayhem show, and it's tremendous. And apparently, all these inside jokes I miss. So, Loose. <laughs> Sorg, Sorg, we Cannon. are going to have Jesse Ventura or the Ultimate Warrior on next week. Oh, really? Either one. Maybe and Jesse you Ventura is How being are you dead booking yet? better guests for the wrap up for Impact than you are the Mayhem show? What's happening here, guys? Happens. You better believe I'm going to be in the TNA wrap up, McMahon. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, I, so, I learned. So it's something called Black Magic. I'm going to be in the hangout now, uh, asking questions. I learned wrestling this week that. Uh, the king can't go anywhere in Canada without bringing up the fact that he almost died. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of his gimmick now, right? I don't know how oh, many times. No, no, it's his, it's the year anniversary. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, really? well, which is insane. The most yeah. awkward raw of all time. Yeah, That's because, not the, true. because the actual That's guy, not true. the Chris Benoit raw. Was the most well. Awesome. That was after the fact. Round ten thirty. Yeah, that was, that was in after, retrospect. You could tell they realized this probably was not a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, the, the the fact is when he when when the uh, the trainer came out, the actual trainer came out. All he was talking about was this guy saved my life <laughs> over and over again. I'm like. <gasps> Yay! Oh boy! And, uh, oh, okay, boy. stop it! I can't believe it's been stop. a year already. <laughs> Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned two yeah. things. One, you only learned one. I I learned that the winner of the 2013 Battle Bowl will be the fan. <laughs> the fans. The, the fan. The fans. Yes. Okay. And one I, fan. I also learned that this angle has killed Bizarro Town. Kurt Angle? No, no, the, the, the corporation angle that they're running right now has killed the weird Canadian crowds that WWE always talks about because everyone was in agreement from Canada to the U.S. about 
We all hate Triple H and Randy Orton. Toronto's not really bizarro town. That's, That's Montreal. The of Canada is. Uh, no, yeah, Canada, Canada right, really is. Any, no, no, no. Any wrestling crowd with an opinion is bizarro land. New York, Thank Chicago. you, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. No. What? Uh, Ooh, okay. Wheels, what about you? What did I learn? I learned when you're sitting in a crowd of friends watching Raw and CM Punk is beating the ever-living daylights out of the supposed doctor, don't yell, beat him like you own him. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Wow. 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 Yeah. Wheels, did you do, Wheels, you did that, didn't you? Yes, I did, but you know okay. what happened? <laughs> A bunch of black people ran laughing hysterically. I'm pretty sure there. you're allowed to make that joke, though. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's still, that's still yeah, but not, I don't think they knew it came from me. That's, that's still the not, bad part. That's probably still not worse than what I said on Let's Play last week. Bobby, what did you learn? <laughs> and this week. <laughs> and this week. No, sword. that was yeah, Chachi. This week. That was Chachi this uh, week. I learned two things. Um, that, uh, well, one thing tied together. Um, wrestlers got new gimmicks this week. Mm-hmm. Um, Curtis Axel got the gimmick of a detective. <laughs> Because that's right. He he legitimately asked, "Who put water on the floor?" <laughs> and then the next segment, they cut the Big Show crying. <laughs> so he saw like that Big Show's tears form giant man-sized puddles, yes. tripping puddles. Yep, exactly. Okay, but um, yeah, his his gimmick is a detective, and wait, Randy wait, wait, wait. Orton. What? Are you saying the Big Show? Made Paul Heyman trip. Yes, it was the Big Show's fault. Mm. <laughs> don't, don't, no. That was last week. That was last week. I well, like big enough. show of emotion, right? Wait, 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 wait. The other, the other gimmick, I, and it took me forever to realize this, but Randy Orton's gimmick it has always been a turtle. Not just any turtle, a snapping turtle. Ah. He moves to the ring very slowly, methodically. Wait. And then all of a sudden he snaps um, and just hits the RKO out of nowhere. Does that uh, totally? He, he also talks very slow and methodically. So yeah, he's pretty much a turtle. Bobby, does that Sorry, mean Randy something. Orton is Toka and Triple H is Razor? If you want Sorry, to. I forgot oh. something. Oh, what's that, LB? <laughs> uh, I also learned that uh, Gold Dust is better at crying than the Big Show. Yeah, that is true. That That's is very true. true. Way yeah, more yeah. convincing. Help with that. Uh, I learned that I don't care about wrestling anymore because I just learned about do 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 Battle Boy of 2013. Uh, so I'm starting a bowling podcast. Thanks, Matt and Mike, for that. Uh, this is a um, thing. I'm down. <laughs> what Battle Bowl is, Sword? <laughs> What's that? That's not what Battle Bowl is. I just look, I was looking at Battle Bowl. That, no, bowling. that's what it is now. Okay, that, that, now Brian Pillman <laughs> made it so. Brian Pillman told us he was winning the WCW Battle Bowl in 2013. No, not, he didn't say WCW Battle Bowl. The fans. He just said Battle Bowl. It could have been in any kind of Battle Bowl. Hey, there's still, there was still a Great American fans. Bash for how many years, right? Um, so, yep. guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show, thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody, joining us. It was a great time. Bailey. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, chat room at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, join us next week as we start the Bowling Mayhem Show. Uh, you can check us out, wrestlingmayhemshow.com, iTunes, Stitcher, like? Talk Show, video, audio, video, audio versions. Who do you think you are? I am. Email at goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. <laughs> the the um, best of time. Drop a line. Uh, 412-206-WMS0 all that stuff have fun with it uh, and we'll see you guys next week see you on Twitter's at Mayhem Show on the Facebook on the Google Plus the conversation goes all week long it's not just here on Tuesday nights until next time Mayhem Shibuti. out Watch out!